This is a nice little one. Not too much to learn here. Thermist has an LDR, just two more components that you need to understand. So we need to find out what these two things are first, and then a little bit on what they're used in circuits. Some of the questions on this can get quite tricky, but they're just using the same ideas that we talked about in the first lessons about voltage, current, and resistance. So if you've got um, a thermostat in your house and you can put it to a temperature and the room um, gets heated up to that temperature and the heating sort of knows how cold it is in the room, right? you might wonder how it is that the, the system can know the temperature, if you like. Well, the answer is that somewhere in the system is a thing called a thermistor. This is a kind of resistor which changes its resistance according to the temperature. The therm bit should give you the clue if you've forgotten in the exam. Therm is to do with heat, so this is a resistor that changes its resistance according to the temperature. Here's its symbol. Um, my odd way of remembering this is this is a bit like an ice hockey stick. Remember the rectangle here tells you it's a kind of resistor. The ice hockey stick reminds me of it being cold and been to do with temperature. In the same way, you might have had one of these lights when you were little. Um, a light that comes on it when it gets dark, but how does it know when it gets dark? Well, in here, this little bit here is a light dependent resistor, usually just called an LDR. Here's a symbol again. Notice we've got the rectangle that tells you it's a resistor. And these two little arrows pointing at it, these are the light that's falling on it. And if you remember the LED symbol that had the arrows pointing away from it, the arrows pointing towards it is because the light's shining on it. Okay, so the first thing we need to remember is we've got resistors that change their resistance going to the temperature or the light, and here are their symbols. So here's the little couple of circuits just to give us an idea about what these things do. So in our first circuit here, here's the thermistor. You notice that the symbol's been turned round, but it's still our rectangle and the ice hockey stick. And we've got a motor in this circuit, and the motor is turning around slowly. So this might be, for example, used in a circuit where we want a fan to spin round. You wouldn't do it quite like this in the real world, but it should give you an idea. So the motor is slowly ticking round. It's only 10 degrees in the room, just circulating the air around a little bit. We've got a very small current here, one milliamp of current flowing around the circuit, just making the motor turn around. Okay, the crucial thing to remember about thermistors is what happens when it gets warmer. Well, if you have a look at the resistance here, if I increase the temperature, as I increase the temperature, the resistance of the thermistor goes down. Because the resistance is going down, the current is going up. And notice I've got two and a half milliamps here, and up and up and up, three milliamps. Okay, by the time the room's got too hot up here at 40 degrees, the resistance of this has gone right down. So I've got more current. The motor's now spinning around really fast, moving the air around the room, keeping us all cool. So there's a simple example of um, a circuit with a thermistor in it. Okay, here's a circuit with an LDR. Here's my lamp shining on the LDR. Notice the moment it's bright, if I make it darker, the resistance of the LDR goes up. So in the light, the resistance is low. In the dark, the resistance gets high. So what you might do with this in a real circuit is to connect this part to a computer. So you'll notice if there was only this thing in the circuit, there would always be 6 volts. So what we do is we split the voltage between two things and we put in here another resistor. So if these two resistances are approximately equal, this gets about half the voltage here. If I have more resistance on the bottom, the resistance over here goes down. You turn, on a, you turn on a light when the voltage falls below a certain level. So at the moment you can see there's plenty of light down here. This means that there's lots of voltage up here because this resistance is low, so more of the voltage is across this resistor. So it's got 4 volts. As it gets dark, that voltage on the top falls. Now it knows it's in the dark because this has fallen below a certain level, and that will turn a switch which turns a lamp on when it gets dark. Okay, this is how your night light kind of circuit is working. Um, to add a little bit of sophistication to that, you might want to be able to change when the light comes on. So rather than fixing this at 5 kilohms, what you might do is put a variable resistor in there and you might decide you want it to turn on at a different level of light and that will allow you to control what value of light this value is enough to turn the light on. Okay, that's a bit complicated. But just remember, above all, thermistors have a low, resistor when, low resistance when they're warm. LDRs have a low resistance when they're in the light.